Hi there guys, welcome to part two. So today we're going to be talking about the single stroke roll rudiment and turning it into a drum fill. So a drum fill is simply just a pattern um, that you would use at the end of a drum beat. Today we're going to be using a single stroke roll drum pattern which would look like this. There's your drum fill. So all we've got to do is we've got to play four strokes on each drum. So right, left, 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 right, left. Okay? Just like so. Not too difficult. All right, cool. So we're going to put that together with our drum beat now from before. So we're gonna add them together. We'll look like this. We're gonna play three bars of drum beat and one bar of drum fill. So that'll look like this. One and two, three, four. Second bar, two, three, four. Third bar, two, three, drum fill. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Second bar, two, three, four. Third bar, two, three, drum fill. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So as you could tell, I counted the drum fill in two different types of subdivisions. So I counted one, oh sorry, one, two, three, four, and I also counted one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. The first one is easier after a while, but the second one is what you would start with. So the reason for that is you're counting every single stroke. One E and A. So don't forget that uh, that's very, very important to keep track of your three bars of drum fill. I'm oh, sorry, what am I saying? Three bars of drum beat and one bar of drum fill. Okay, just like so. Thanks for watching.